CBS 4 is your local election headquarters and both Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump back on the campaign trail tonight. But while campaign or while Harris that is is campaigning in a battleground state, Trump is headed to a state he's expected to win very comfortably. Our Willie James Inman has the details. Vice President Kamala Harris and Minnesota Governor Tim Walz are continuing their campaign tour of battleground states, rallying Friday evening in Arizona. And I do have some genuine enthusiasm for the vice president's campaign. Mesa, Arizona Mayor John Giles, a Republican, is endorsing Harris and has formed the Republicans for Harris group to help her win the state. There's no way I can endorse uh, Donald Trump. I'm, I regret what he, where he's taken the Republican Party. Um, I, we need two strong parties in our country, and right now we don't have that. And for the first time in its nearly 100-year history, the Latino civil rights group LULAC is making a presidential endorsement, backing Harris and Walls. Former President Donald Trump is hitting the campaign trail again, traveling to Bozeman, Montana. It's a state he will likely win easily in November, whether he campaigns there or not. Trump has Montana's Senate race on his mind, where he's working to see Republican Tim Shahey defeat Democratic incumbent John Tester. I don't have to go there because I'm leading those states, as you know, by 35, 40, 50 points. I'm leading by record numbers. I'm going because I want to help senators and congressmen get elected. Trump was asked Thursday why he's not campaigning more for himself. Some of your allies have expressed concern that you're not taking this very seriously, particularly what a stupid time question. where there's enthusiasm on the other side. Why haven't you been campaigning this week? Uh, because I'm leading by a lot and because I'm letting their convention go through. Democrats are holding their convention in Chicago beginning August 19th. Willie James Inman, CBS News, The White House. According to the Harris campaign, one of the top issues that could decide this year's election could be abortion. Harris, along with abortion advocates, argue that the patchwork of abortion restrictions across the country deprived too many women of health care essentials. Experts say they saw a peak in voters naming abortion as their top issue in 2022. And it has definitely decreased since then, but there is a significant share. It's about one in 10 voters who still say abortion is their most important issue. Former President Donald Trump says otherwise. As president, Trump appointed three conservative justices who helped overturn Roe v. Wade, leaving abortion access completely up to the states, with which Trump says is where it should stay.